All right, I need to go ahead and get these uh, gifts wrapped up for Bobby. So I have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do. Of course, just handing her some pieces of paper or putting paper in the stocking isn't the coolest idea. So let me get these tickets printed out and let's confuse Bobby. Okay, she's gonna get three gifts total. Flight to, to Maui, flight home from Kauai, and then for it to make sense, obviously she's gonna need the flight from Maui to Kauai. How fun. The only thing she told me she wanted was a waffle maker. I'll probably get her the wrong one, so this just sounds easier. All right, so one of these is gonna go in a size small Boston mystery bag. She's probably gonna open it and be very, very confused, like, Devin, I already have a ton of Boston stuff, why do I need more? And then she will open it and see this. You know what, let's put it inside of a shirt bag. Let's put it in the shirt, in the shirt bag. So it's not so obvious. <laughs> uh, I'm so lame, why am I doing this? Okay, there's gift number one. I think I wanna do one with, oh, oops. Do one with uh, like a random car part. I got a lot of random car, port, car parts laying around as you guys could imagine. What can I give her? That just makes no sense. Hmm, let me go look. All right, we got it figured out. So gift number two, she's gonna get this Evo 10 crank balancer. <laughs> Are you confused, Jared? What's happening? <laughs> I'm taking all the flights that I'm giving Bobby for Christmas yeah. and just putting it in random boxes. <laughs> the first one was a size small mystery bag and I like tucked the flight in a shirt so she doesn't see it right away. I don't want to just give her pieces of paper. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty lame. Are you Put that in there. I'm not, I gotta hide it though. Put it under a flap. <laughs> I'll just tell her that her crank balancer was going bad on her Evo. Okay, that'll work good. And then the third one is just gonna be a good old stocking stuffer. So I'll package this up, put it in another Boston bag, and put it in her stocking. What'd you get your boyfriend for Christmas? Nothing yet? Just, just a side of cack? Hi, Kodakins. Come hang out. Getting good wrapping um, results is all about the creases. No, no peeking, I'm, but I'm out of wrapping paper. I can make do, it just won't be fully covered. Let me MacGyver, that's what I do best. Sit down, I have a conversation. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. Promise? Yes. Why? Because I go in my email and I have a message on Turo and the very expensive car I booked for when we're in Phoenix, the trip starts today. Every time I book anything for us, I do the dates wrong. I just love burning money. So if you want to go to Phoenix and drive a nice car, like, let's go. What kind of car was it? I can't tell you. Well, are you going to rebook it? <laughs> I'm going to have to. Good morning, it's Wayne. It's probably a C8. What do you think, baby? Is dad stupid? I'm sorry, honey. So annoying. <laughs> it's annoying. I got a message from her. The car is at the airport. I'm like, there's no way. Am I stupid? Huh? <sighs> it's fine, it's only 700 bucks to throw away. Sick. I'm gonna have to return all your gifts to pay for it. Maybe I'll return Bane. All right, anyways, it's Christmas, so what are we doing here, Willis? Oh! I really hope you like my gifts I got you. I hope I gave you the right gift first. They kind of need to be in a sequence. Is it Boston? How do you wrap stuff so good? It looks immaculate. I knew it was Boston sure. No clamp. Ooh. You're trying to make me uh, do a handsome fella. This is a very nice jacket. And it's also a trim fit, not a fat fit. You need something nice. This is very nice. This is for church only. 
You have to open them up. Honey, I already know what all these are. No, you don't. You gotta open them and look. Oh, dang it. That's not the right one first. But whatever, that'll work. For real, honey? I messed up. We're going to Kauai. Yes. I'm... Thanks, honey. <laughs> It's just more flight information. What's that one? To a different island? Is that what that is? Are you, is it making sense yet? We're island hopping around? Uh -huh. Is that what's going on? Well, what's that one? That one's to Kauai. Okay, so Spokane to Seattle, Seattle to it. It's stinking. It kind of is. What in the heck do you have going on? <laughs> Pull it out. <laughs> Do you know what that is? It looks like a engine thing. It's a crank pulley for an Evo 10. Keep looking. In the box. I am in the box. Oh. oh. Now you have to add it all up and figure it's like a puzzle. Okay, so here's our plan. Spokane to Kauai on February 19th. That's not Kauai. I mean... Maui. See, is so confused. Now, Maui to Kauai on the 23rd. So we're there for four or five days. Okay. And then Kauai to Spokane on the 29th. Kauai. So, okay, so we go to Kauai. 11.35 p.m. on February 28th. So we got to go <laughs> from the 19th to the 28th. How does that sound? Honey, Alice? that sounds amazing. And that's in February, okay? Not so, not December 25th. January, February. I have two months to prepare. Mm -hmm. Well, never in a million years did I think that I would be uh, taking a Mark IV Super out on Christmas Day. That is how nice today is. Well, it ain't like sunny or nothing, but oh, we ain't got no snow. And uh, this car has not been driven in a minute. Good old 2J. Fire me up, son. All right, it's always kind of a hassle pulling it out. Don't tell me Bobby's, oh, I got a spare. Of course she locks her car in the garage. I got a spare key. Can you guys yell when I hit the uh, steps, please? Oh. I hit the steps. Sorry about that. Just a little bump on the lip. Be all right. Pretty sad I put a nice dent right in the quarter panel on this thing. It actually happened a couple months ago. I had the R6 sitting here when I used to ride all the time. It's in the corner now, but I would, when I was riding it a lot, I didn't feel like putting it in the corner every single time. So I had it sitting here, handlebars like this, and uh, she was chilling. For some reason that night, one of the tires leaked all the air out of it, and obviously as the tire gets flatter, the bike leans over. And sure enough, I came out in the morning, handlebars just chilling right on the quarter panel. <laughs> but that's fine because we got that dent, someone doored it here, doored there, little thing there, and uh, she just overall needs a good old PDR session, and a polish, and some wheels, and a turbo kit. See if I can MacGyver this old girl on out of here. Okay. Easy. Easy money. Dang, son. The good old soup. Well, of course, I forgot my camera mount. There's not really a place to put the camera in the Supra. But we'll make do. Well, yeah, today is Christmas Day. Bobby's out kicking it with her family right now. We had a great Christmas morning. Bobby got me this very, very beautiful flannel. She knows I love flannels. And now I'm gonna meander my way out to the shop and kind of hang out for a couple hours. We got my family coming over tonight or this afternoon, I suppose. 
and uh, I don't want to just you know sit around and do nothing with my day so I'm gonna go to the shop I might clean a couple cars and maybe clean up the shop a little bit I don't want to do anything crazy because it is Christmas relax a little bit for once and not only that we don't have the most amount of time in the world but I've been thinking does my heater work <laughs> so I'm thinking ooh, why is it literally on AC today come on Devin so I've been thinking today's Christmas Day I had this idea pop in my mind yesterday that I want to give back to you guys a little bit it's obviously no secret that I would not be where I'm at today without your guys' support of the channel, your guys' support of the company, your guys' just support in general. You, you guys support Bobby and I a whole lot, and it means the world to me. And I wanted to give you guys a Christmas gift. Now, I can't really afford to give every single person that watches these videos a Christmas gift, but here's what I want to do. I want to give 10 of you guys hundred dollars and how you are gonna get I guess entered to say entered you could say to win this hundred bucks is just go in the comment section below and let's see just let me know what you could use a hundred bucks for it could be for anything just be honest are you gonna buy car parts are you gonna buy a gift for your dog are you gonna pay bills with it are you gonna buy gasoline because gas is so freaking expensive these days so go in the comment section, let me know what you'd spend a hundred dollars on, and I'm gonna pick 10. You know what? Let's do 20. I'm gonna pick 20 people to send one hundred dollars to. I wanna give back to you guys because you guys support the heck out of me. And I appreciate it. So thank you. Merry Christmas. Let's go to the shop and hang out for a minute. Now unfortunately I don't really have space in the shop, as you can see to worse cars. I got this 4G motor build going on. And uh, I don't really care to move everything, so we'll be fine. I got my nice warm flannel that Bob bought me for Christmas. And we can just wash them outside. I've never seen someone with so many dead battery issues in my life. Nowadays, the cars tend to stay on battery tenders, but I think what the problem is, is before they slept on battery tenders, it was constantly just draining batteries because they would sit for months on end with nothing. And I think that just killed a lot of batteries off. So this car, the battery lasts like two days. And then she, uh, she needs a jump. Okay. Should be enough to fire her up. Ha ha ha. Oh, she's been sleeping for a minute. car's kind of in a limbo mode, I guess you could say. Has been for a minute now, being that it's on a stock motor. You see it still runs, like as you guys just saw. Trans is a little bit suspect. I don't think I, I don't even know if I told you guys, but Josh and I were kind of doing some uh, shenanigans with this car on the dyno stock motor. It made a ridiculous amount of power. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't remember the exact number. It was like, was it in the 800s? I don't know, it was a lot of power. But unfortunately, it did, it did what Evos do best and it started kicking out one of the, or maybe multiple of the diff pins. There's differential pins in the center diff and uh, apparently under high horsepower, they start to back out and they'll crack the transmission case and it kind of, uh, you know, just makes all your trans or your gear oil go everywhere. So what we did is we grabbed some JB Weld, JB Welded up the trans case and still sent it on the dyno. Now obviously the trans is hurt. It needs to come out and be repaired properly. But yeah, 
I think all the gear sets and everything are fine, synchros are fine. It just needs those diff pins welded into the diff, I think is what you would do. And I want to do that before, obviously, it's going to grenade the entire trans eventually, being that it is severely low on gear oil. I keep going back and forth what exactly I want to do with this thing. It, like I said, it's a stock motor right now. There is a shop that is doing my block. I plan on doing a fully, 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 like just a final motor on this thing because it has had like probably four motors go through it, I would think, three or four. Let's see, stock motor, venter rod on the stock turbo. Did a pretty decent stock sleeve motor with I-beams and whatnot. That lasted for years. And then that one, what happened with that one? Oh, shoot. I don't even know, honestly. What happened with that motor? I don't know. I know the motor after that I built, it only lasted a couple hundred miles and then it lost one of the thrust washers. So then I built another motor. That one lasted for a couple years and then that one lost just a valve. Just burned an exhaust valve and then I put a stock motor in it. So I want to do just one final hurrah with the motor build. It's getting sleeved. It's getting everything. Every single thing. The shop's had it for a while and it's not done yet. So not sure exactly when it'll be done, but hopefully one of these days. I'll probably stick with the 6870. I don't really plan on making, I don't know, maybe I'll go a little bit bigger. If we could make around 900 to, to the thousand mark with this car in the future, that would be a good end goal. Leave it there. It's kind of set up to be a drag car. I know you guys can't tell right now because I'm running the TEs on it. And yes, those are the giveaway TEs. But it's Christmas and I can't ship them out till tomorrow. I do like how they look. I'll probably order another set for this car. This side over here is running a set of 17 inch 57 DRs. I don't know. 17s look kind of funny on 10s, on Evo 10s in my opinion. So I feel like this thing should probably go back to an 18 inch wheel. The drag setup is fine. Those are 16s with some, some slicks and those look all right. I like how it looks on the slicks. But for a daily setup, the 17s are just a little bit small for an Evo 10. Get her fully saturated with some foam. I think I have time to clean probably two or three cars today. Bays and all. Might as well wash the bay. These cars just sit around all day and get filthy because they're in the same shop where I do all the work at. And it's impossible to keep a car clean unless you pull it outside every single day, but then it rains and then it gets dirty anyway. There's no good option as of right now. Now the ticket to a good successful wash in the middle of winter, well, not really the middle of winter, let's be honest. It's probably 35, 33, 35 out. But if you don't wanna freeze your nuts off too bad, a good old bucket of warm water. Ah, it's nice. It makes it very uh, tolerable and almost enjoyable. Being cold, but putting your hand in warm water, quite nice. I've debated heavily, heavily, heavily come bringing back the half wrap. Now I know that's old and a lot of you guys don't know what it means, but that's fine. For those of you who do know, do know what it means and what that was. The half wrap camo. I really, really enjoyed it then. Now I've said before, I'm not the biggest fan of vehicle wraps. I used to be, but once you understand what a good quality build looks like it's really tough to do that with a wrap but wraps definitely do belong in certain certain circumstances and i think the camo is obviously one where it has to be a wrap ain't nobody gonna sit out here all day and try to paint camouflage on evo that's just that's just weird so that was a very cool um stage of this car and i miss it heavily so one of these days, you might see me sitting here wrapping a car again, which I never thought I would do. I know, you're supposed to start at the top and work your way down with the car wash, but this paint needs a polish, so I'm not too concerned. What do you guys think? Bring back the half wrap? Would that be sick? Whew. Well, it is still chilly, even with warm water. Now that right there, my friends, is how an Evo 
should look. Nice and clean, simple yet effective. Ah oh man, this car wasn't washed. I mean, truth be told, this car was never washed since it got hit on the quarter panel and we had to paint the quarter panel and the bumper in the door. Man, this thing just looks so good on the TEs. So good, so beautiful. Let's get her all cleaned up. And then I actually gotta hop on a uh, good old Instagram live right quick and pick another winner for another set of wheels that I just gave away. It seems like, well, not seems like, I can look at the data. A lot of y'all are missing out on some of these giveaways I'm doing. I don't really announce it much on YouTube, but on Instagram, I'm trying to give a, trying to give a set of wheels away a week. One set per week is the goal right now. And it's been a lot of fun. People are winning stuff for three bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks. Great fun. So the most recent wheel giveaway was a set that I bought for the Yellow Evo 8 build. Pressed graphite, 18 by nine and a half TE37. I think they call them these, the SL Saga, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they do. TE37 SL Saga. I did a quick test fit on the Evo 8 and they were pretty sick. They looked absolutely beautiful, but I uh, ended up finding another set of non-TEs that I think I want to run on that car. So I gave these away. Today is Christmas day and I'm able to give one of you guys a set of TEs for three, I think we did $3 buy-ins. Yes, we did. Alrighty, let me get everything set up here. I want to be going live and filming at the same time. How fun. Every time I go live, I get anxious. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm still just a goon at heart. I was such a quiet person growing up. I think that's honestly why. Like I know I film and do YouTube stuff full time, but it's like, man, deep down, I'm still just a uh, shy little boy. Let's do this thing. And Merry Christmas. How y'all doing? Who's ready to win some TE37s? In my opinion, probably the best wheels I've given away yet. The color is just immaculate on them. 2981, 2981, Anthony Diaz from Stamford, Connecticut. My friend, are you in here? Anthony, you here, homie? I do not have his phone number. I'll get a hold of Anthony. You guys know we are doing the $2,000 cash out option as well, so there is a chance that he wants the 2K cash and we can rerun the wheels. That would be sick. Alrighty, next car I wanna go ahead and give a nice little bath to is the car that Bobby never drives. That I drive all the time. That's not even my car, but I still drive it all the time. Rap, 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 rap. Bobby and I have discussed actually getting rid of this car pretty heavily recently. And um, Bobby's on board to get rid of it. If I'm being honest, I am so attached to this thing. This was not my biggest project ever because the Type R was quite a bit bigger, but it's like my first massive project. And I tried to build the most perfect STI. I built what I thought would be the perfect STI. And well, Bobby loves it. I think she's more of an Evo girl anyway. Well, I know she is, she's told me. And um, yeah, it doesn't really get driven. So we had a debate selling it. I don't know if we're gonna put it back to stock and sell it or sell it as is or do a giveaway with it. I don't know. It's not gonna happen for a while because I still really, really do enjoy driving it. But when you have a, an addiction with buying more and more and more cars, like I keep doing, it's hard to justify keeping cars that are already done and already built because I prefer building cars more than I prefer driving them. So yeah, stay on the lookout if you're interested in a 2019 STI that makes 800 wheel fully built every little thing, we might be selling this. Well, friends, I may have uh, made a mistake. I made a post on Instagram and I said, if this post gets a thousand likes in 10 minutes, we will give away this car. I don't think it's gonna hit it. I highly doubt it's gonna hit it, but we'll see. In two minutes, it's at 51 likes, so I guess we'll see. I hope it doesn't hit it because I love driving this car, but if it does hit it, I'm obligated to my word. 
you guys definitely do not want me to give this car away. So we're not giving it, we are not giving it away. But my boy Anthony reached back out. Let's give him a call and see if he wants the wheels or the cash. Hello? Hey, is this Anthony? Yes, sir. Anthony, this is Devin Nimala. Hey, how are you, man? I'm good. How are you doing, brother? I'm good, man. I seen your email. Yes, sir. So you were the winner of the wheels, and I just wanted to give you a call and uh, congratulate you and see if you want the wheels or if you're going to take the cash. That's dope, bro. I appreciate it. Um, I'm definitely going to take the wheels. That's going to be my next summer summer setup. Perfect. Okie dokie. Let's go for a quick rip back home. The thing I don't like about this car the most is how quiet it is. It's a freaking 2J. I really need to put an exhaust system on her. I mean, it does have an exhaust. I don't know what it is. Uh, it says, but it's so crusty I can't read it. Unfortunately though, I feel like if I just put a, like, a louder exhaust on it, it still wouldn't sound very cool. I feel like it needs a Terpsky kit and a good old pipe, pipe system for it to sound appropriate. Real 2J things. I keep hitting the freaking horn. It is so weird driving a right hand drive car. Every time I go to blink, I do that. I hit the wipers every single time. The main thing I've been needing to get done on this car is simply put just a set of wheels. I ordered a set of wheels a while ago. They were bronze TEs and I did just a nice eight, pretty wide 18 inch setup in the front or in the rear. Front I don't think you can go very wide. I forgot what they were but they ended up canceling the order on me. I was pretty excited for them. I like the CCWs that are on here but it just feels weird. Like I, I didn't pick these wheels out. The wheels were on the car when I bought it and I like them but I think just a nice set of, I don't know, TEs look good, ZE40s would look good. Even like 57 CRs, I feel like looks pretty good on Mark IVs. I guess, technically speaking, any set of wheels looks good on a Mark IV. It's just such an iconic car. But I need wheel, oh I want wheels, I don't need wheels. And then I need to do a PDR session drop it off with someone say keep it for as long as you want it's got to be perfect and then give her a nice polish buff polish I don't know if anything needs to be wet sanded don't pull out in front of me boy and it'll be shiny and nice looking and then maybe in a couple months or I don't even know when I'm not in any hurry to build this car like I am <laughs> like I was tripping out like I am with other builds, Evos and stuff. I'm always eager to get get them done ASAP. But the Mark IV, this thing's gonna be staying for a while. So I'm not in any sort of rush. That's why I've had for two or three years and have never once touched it. I think I maybe have washed it like four times. I've driven it maybe six times. I've probably put a hundred miles on it max. It is always funny driving the old school JDM cars, mainly the Supra and the NSX. Ironically enough, I would say the NSX gets more attention. It's more of a, like if you don't know cars, I think the NSX would look cooler from the outside. It's more exotic looking, I guess you could say. But if you're a true car enthusiast, I feel like, I could be wrong, but I feel like true gearheads go a little bit more crazy about the Mark IV than they would an NSX. I do at least. That's for sure. But imagine seeing an R34 in person. That'd be the true, oof, that's insane type of thing. Well boys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Remember, if you wanna win some cash, it's probably the easiest cash you could ever win in your life. You guys always comment a whole lot in the comment section anyway. So just comment what you'd spend 100 bucks on. 20 of you guys are gonna win 100 bucks. And I'll be, that'll be in tomorrow's upload. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great New Year. And don't wait until January to uh, chase your dreams and your goals. There's no sense in waiting another week when you could do it today.
don't have a New Year's re resolution. Have a life resolution. Fix your life, not your year. Advice from Devin. Good night. Let's do a rip ski. That's so funny. You can hear the first turbo and then it like falls off hard. She falls off really hard and then the second turbo ski kicks in and goes. Mm -hmm.